I'm joined on the stage by several of the creative geniuses between, but behind Fright Fest. Please allow me to introduce Fright Fest producer Scott Sterner, production designer Mark Wing, our head makeup designer Scott Ramp, and project manager and co-designer of one of our new haunted attractions, Tony Braun. So over the next 20 to 30 minutes, we're going to give you a sneak peek uh, at Fright Fest 2014, and they'll be happy to take some of your questions. But first, let me take you through some of the highlights. Tonight, we are announcing the largest capital investment. The event now starts uh, in early, late September, and will run Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays through November 1st. We're introducing two new mazes that are larger than Willoughby's. Our mazes include theatrical style sets, special events, and I will tell you, we have absolutely raised the bar like never before on the quality of our 2014 mazes. Rides and our, all our mazes, this is the best way to experience Fright Fest. Groups of up to 15 will be escorted around the park to some of our most popular rides and all of the attractions. Also thematic props, which to my left, you can see one of the new ones, and I'll get into him in just a little bit. For 2014, we are, let's call it, enhancing our scare zones and bringing back our seven uh, famous scare zones with City Under Siege. That is our most popular scare zone located in the DC Universe area. It actually is um, known for our psychotic clowns and unique um, characters that we have in this area. We also have Exile Hill, located at the top of the Samurai yeah, Summit, everywhere. including ride queue lines um, near um, certain locations where you think the goal will normally not be. So, be surprised and uh, definitely nowhere is safe. Oh, there he is. Hello, Rocky. Hello, sir. Oh, how are you? Well, thank you. I'm very well, thank you. Well, Raven Stitch is actually a western esque uh, steampunk area that has a society of ravens, larger than life race, great ravens, and also scarecrows that I think are just going to blow you guys away with their talents as performers and also um, as with their costumes and makeup. Thank you. Thank you, Rocky. The state-of-the-art Willoughby's Resurrected. The Willoughby's family tale unfolds before your eyes at this once affluent Victorian mansion that has become haven to evil spirits. Willoughby's is located at the base of the Sky Tower. Chupacabra. Come face to face with this elusive, bloodthirsty creature. This now defunct toy factory is haunted by a chilling turn of events that took place when the admired inventor went psychotic. Haunted garden of the Willoughby's? This dense labyrinth of man-eating plants and evil apparitions is no playground for the faint of heart. Please keep children close. In the distance is an old abandoned facility that has recently been discovered with years of secrets of the unknown. If you dare to enter, be aware of your surroundings at all times. Unknown animal-like screams have been heard deep within the unsecured vault. Vault 666 features theatrical-style sets, dramatic special effects, and is one of our largest indoor mazes. Vault 666 is located behind Full Throttle Maze. Red's Revenge takes theming to a whole new level. Over the hill and through the woods to Grandmother's house you go. Into the world of Red Riding Hood and the Big Bad Wolf 
But in this fairy tale, you and the wolf are hunted by Red and her demonic minions. Red's Revenge is located behind the Full Throttle Sports Bar in an all-new Fright Fest area. Here to give you a sneak peek at Red's Revenge, please welcome project manager and co-designer, Tony Bronner. Thank you, Neil. And as you can see, when we say Red's Revenge, we mean exactly what the title implies. This is Red seeking her revenge. She went to the villagers. She begged them to help her with her sick grandmother. But nobody complied. Nobody even spoke to her. She went back, and her mother had been slaughtered. The wolf had got to her, too. And as you can see, what you will be walking through is the biggest set that, that Six Flags has, has done inside their park. It will start off inside the village, which you will walk through very lush, but at the same time, it's being torn apart as Red is seeking out her revenge. You will actually become a part of the show as you walk through and see the creatures of the night that are being summoned by Red. As you walk through the forest and come upon them in the cabin, then you will, be, then you will become into her final room, which is her domain. So, Fright Fest, there'll be three mazes back here. Vault 666, Toys of Terror, which is now in 3D. And they'll even have a new maze back here behind Toys of Terror. 